Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial, and today you are not going to be with the usual Bballard13SN, no, you'll be with Rudolph Bballard13SN. Yeah, allergies are getting back at me again, but um, I, my throat's doing okay, and as long as I don't sneeze and sniffle and all of that too much during this video, hopefully you guys will still be able to enjoy and maybe give me a couple of likes as it goes. Alright. Today, I am going to do my very, 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 very best to get you two videos out like I did yesterday. Um, I'm going to try to give you one now at noon and again at 6, again, like I did yesterday. No promises yet, but it, just come, right, come here around uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and see if I did or didn't. Alright, now, for today's video, or today's first, hopefully first, video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making, actually today we're going to be making the bullet move. Uh, the laser, that is, not bullet, the laser move. How are we going to uh, do this, though? Okay. What I mean by that question is, how are we going to know which direction to move? I'll explain why I'm asking that in a second. Let's go over to the Explorer, Storage UI, 2D Game, Window, Layer Script, and then zoom over to the script itself. And, um, how is my laptop so hot already? It's barely been on. But, alright, alright. That's okay, hopefully I'll get this done before it shuts itself off. What I'm asking is... Every time we go through this loop, every single time we go through this loop, we might move. Okay, we might go left, we might go right. But when we shoot, we aren't clicking in a direction, we're pressing spacebar. And when we press spacebar to shoot, we want it to go in the direction we're moving, right? You don't want it to just go, like, up or down, even though that's not where you're going. No! You want to go the direction you're headed. So how can we do that? Hmm. There's a couple ways we could do that. Uh, but the primary way is going to be fairly simple. So we're going to go up. And as you guys know, we have a move left and move right function. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line in each of those functions that change a, changes a variable in our script, okay, changes a variable in our script, and it is just left or right. It's a, going to be a uh, Boolean value for positive movement, but we're probably going to call it move right, because if you add to the X, it's going to move to the right. So, we're going to go up and we're going to make that new variable right over here. And we're going to make it, uh, moving east. I uh, just make you guys, make it sound a bit more, nah. You guys can name it moving east. It'll make sense. Uh, but for all you people that want life a little simpler, like I do, we're going to go moving right equals false to begin with. Actually, true, because I, our player starts at the bottom left. So it all makes sense to have that equal true to begin with, so he shoots to the right to begin with. And then down... Oh, I went way too far. All right, down here in the move right, all we're going to do... All that we're going to do is that this very, very first line, we're going to put move right equals true. Or moving right, I believe. We'll check that in a second. If it's not moving right, we'll change it to moving right. We're not having variable name issues today. And then in this move left, we're going to make moving right equal false. And that's just going to be very simple, very to the point changing the value. But this is where the value finally becomes useful. It's down here in our while true do loop. In fire, we're actually no, in our fire. Uh, fire function, we're going to 
may say laser laser that moving right that value equals moving right and I will get to that part in a second but just remember this line of code think about it and we'll get to it in a second we'll get to it in a second I just want to check yes it's moving right all right mm -hmm. <laughs> lots of rights this video huh yeah all right oh my goodness there I go again next let's go to the Explorer and go to lightning and then in laser let's zoom over to the basic objects which I will pull out for you guys to see there we go. Hopefully, hopefully that's in frame well enough. All right, we're going to add a bool value. As I talked about way long ago in this series, bool values are just booleans stored as actual instances. So we're going to name this bool value moving right, and its value is initially going to be false because it really doesn't matter, and we don't need to waste that extra time. So, however, let's go back to our fire function wherever the heck that is uh, I believe it's yes okay so we're changing the moving right value and that's and that value uh, to our moving right the moving right in our script and that's a boolean as well and then what we're doing is every time we move right or every time we move left we're just changing that value so it's going to be false if we're moving left or true if we're moving right Alright, so later today, I'm hoping we can get a tutorial out about actually moving our laser based off of the new moving right variable. So that's our mission for 6 o'clock. Stay tuned. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please, please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you thought about this video. And I will catch you guys later.